Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium, where I need to do a little bit of decorating of my of my lovely fox face rabbit fishes uh, new place. I'm gonna put some nets in there. I've got a few new decorations now, you see, so it's gonna be quite nice to actually give them some decorations in there. So give them a shell, I'm gonna give them uh what else have we got? An eelgrass at the front there. What else have we got? What else can we give you? Sea lettuce, maybe? Cool. Um, and I did have the idea that I'm going to be putting in these tubular sponges. However, I don't think I have the lights I need for them quite yet. Uh, also, I want to be getting some cold water stuff going as well. Also, I can start daisy chaining my pumps and getting bigger pumps and things like that, which is going to be quite useful later on. I may redo some of this very front section of the aquarium as well, just to make things nicer for people. Just uh, maybe put some bigger tanks in that attract people more because at the moment they kind of are going to one side or the other and that's kind of a little bit frustrating. Um, so yeah, maybe the idea of having such a, a big tank at the start is not such a good one. I don't know. Maybe as I get pulled more up through the aquarium that will fix itself. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway... We've got a couple of fish now that I don't have in the aquarium yet. So we've got the disco mushrooms, we've got the hermit crab. Oh, actually, we don't, do we? We've got everything. Do we have everything? Yes, we do have everything. So let's just carry on. See if we can get this, uh, this prestige up a bit more. We're up to 400 now, nearly. Yes, 400. Fantastic. Still got quite a lot of money left as well. So far we had one fish death, which was entirely my fault. Entirely my fault. So we've got to get to 5,800 and we're at like 400 at the moment. <laughs> it's going to get much bigger this aquarium, I can I can feel it in my bones. So yeah, we're going to be able to start uh, researching things like the Belfast tank soon, which is going to be so good. Panther groupers now, yay! So let's get the longhorned cowfish as well. Now, panther groupers, I think, might be able to go in with these fox-faced rabbit fish. Let's have a little look. They don't like um, con specifics. That they don't like um, competitors for green pellets. That's the only thing is if they eat green pellets. No, you eat mussels, and you eat small fish, and you go up to fourteen. No, I can definitely, definitely have one or two of you in there. So, how big is this place? Oh, yeah, two of you at least in there. That'll be fine. And you need somewhere to hide. Ooh. I have to move things around a bit to get you a hidey cave in there. Yeah, if I move that shell to the front, I should be able to put them a hidey cave in the back. And then they'll be happy. Yay! 430 prestige. So we're doing very well there. Ooh, stuff that needs to be... Ah, oh, people littering already. I don't know. Give them a nice aquarium and see what they do with it. So, I think I was in the middle as well of um, putting the toilets back in here. Just ahead of possibly uh, opening this section out. Which will be the next thing to happen. I'll, put, I'll move this tank over here. I'll put another tank over this side of, the, of a similar size. And we'll get going. We've got large heaters now. That's good. Very good. Power pumps. Yes, please. Power lights. Ooh. Ooh. Power lights first. And then we'll do power pumps. Power lights will allow me to put some... Uh... Ooh, hang on. I was going to put... Oh yeah, I still can. I still can. I was like, I was gonna put some uh, corals and stuff in here. But I think I still can. But I've had to use up quite a bit of space, but I've still got room for like three or so corals in there. I've got a couple of corals in this one as well. With my lionfish. He's grown big now. Shame his friend didn't survive, but maybe we've, maybe we've got any more lionfish yet? No. No. Boo. So 
Coral Grouper can't be housed with a Coral Grouper, but it can be housed with a Panther Grouper. Interesting. Because what I could do in that case... How big is this? 42 out of 60. How big are you? Nine. So I could put you in with these guys. I'm getting a bit full though. Especially if I'm going to want to start putting... Uh, I may have to take the nets out if I want to put something else in there. We can, we can sort that out later, it's fine. Because I wanted to put corals in there, you see. But they're, want, they're wanting more and more stuff to be happy in there, you see. So, not good. But then there's a lot of things in there that they don't need. Ah, we could do with another protein skimmer as well. Okay, that's fine by me. Have one there. And that means this tank is not required. Okay, so what I think I will actually do with this then is I'm going to remove this tank. Yep. And that's going to allow me to put this tank in around here. However, I've made the wrong kind of tank. So what I'm actually thinking is I will make a, a tank of that size as a wall tank. I'm going to put all these guys in there. How big is it? One, two, three, four, it's about five big. Okay. I need it to be about that size. I'm going to move this bench over here. Move the soda machine next to it. In fact, forward a bit as well. So people can have a rest almost as soon as they come in, and then this whole tank is going to get replaced. This needs to be moved. I need a deep wall tank. Ooh, what size was it? About that size, isn't it? Okay. And I'm going to move all of the stuff from there into here. Including all the decorations and stuff. This way you've got nice big tanks to start with rather than little tiny annoying tanks. I may change that one out for a deep ball tank as well. I hate the shallow tanks. You may have you may have noticed. I really hate shallow tanks. I have to start with them because I do. Doesn't mean I have to like them. Actually no, I'm gonna leave the net there. I'll put something else in that tank. means I'll need to move some of these around a little bit. I probably will put another strip along the back here actually because things are starting to get bigger now. So what I like to do is as things get a bit larger I just give it another strip or two of room which just helps things open out a little bit. 
I really do like keeping things symmetrical. Which means I will put another strip along here. move some of these bits and bobs back a little bit. Just gives me a little bit more space to play with. Makes things look a little bit less ugly as well. And eventually I'm going to want to have almost a big pump room behind. And what we'll have is all the pumps will be all the way back here. And they can be fixed by my fixers and things like that. And then I will just have pumps beside the... Uh, so I won't have any of these big um, like filters and things like that. I will just have pumps beside the actual tanks themselves. And the whole thing will be daisy chained. I'm going to try and keep cold water in its own cold water section as well. Which may be mirrored by a warm water section of a similar size. Well, cold water is going to have to come in very soon as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do as well, um, a nice thing to do sometimes, if you can. And yeah, now we've got the bigger tanks, we can step it out a little bit as well. That'll be quite nice. Um, so I'm going to have these observer tanks, and they're going to jut out a little bit into, into the room. So the room is going to step back, and then we're going to have that there. So I'm going to just move this little guy backwards and put in a wall and then I can I can muck around behind the wall basically which is always good okay is everybody happy let's just have a check play it a bit check that everyone's happy everything is happy yes it seems to be ah good more people are coming to look at that fabulous oh I need to paint it in, in a lovely shipwreck paint colour don't I there we are we now have longhorn cowfish. So they might be a nice one to put on the other side. Are you wimps? Oh yes, of course they're wimps. I might need to even these tanks out and put them in with the oblique line dotty bats. You won't go in with other dotty bats. I think I could even out these tanks between the two of them and uh, and and manage that. What so what I want to do if I can move this pump back um, and start using the power pumps so that I don't have such a big uh, pump section in there you know I could even have it behind another wall I could even wall off where I've a, a separate pump room that would be quite good okay so let's let's look at this then so if I just made a little section back here of about this size And I actually think I want to start using the power pump if I... Oh, I don't have it yet. Oh, I can't do any of this until I have the power pump. Okay. I, I know what I want to do. Just can't do it yet. Fast forward. So what I'm looking for at the moment is to get this research done into my power lights. Um, at the moment I don't have many... Oh, level ups, yay! Be better at feeding! Be better at fixing! I still want my Apollat Shark and my Butubler Sponge. I need to start you know, researching some other stuff first. I mean, I've got so many fish that I haven't researched and I haven't got into tanks yet. Just waiting for that, basically. So we've got the Oblique Line Dotty back now. So now we're on to the proper rank 5 fish. I would like to research a Cuckoo Ras because I would like to start on a cold water tank. Um, however, do I actually have the chiller researched yet? just check that. 
If I don't have a chiller, there's no point. Yeah, I do, so there is a point. Cool. Right, so. The next thing I, I kind of wanted to do was I wanted to move this pump system out of the way so I could get another tank of this kind of size over here. Uh, which I can't really do while the pump's in the way. So let's see how far back I can move it. And it still connects. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that while it was still going. Oops. No, I can't go very far back and it still connects. So I'm going to have to leave that for just a little while. Just while I'm researching these lights. Then I think... I'm going to have... We might not have room. Oh. This is frustrating, actually. I really should have gone with the power pump first. That was my first instinct, was to go with the power pump. I'm just going to let it run for a bit then, um, until we can get that power pump. Wade has leveled up. Be better at feeding! Panther Grouper 2 has grown. Right, let's just double check the Panther Groupers. Cage, tank, whatever. Oh, are you are you maximum size now, guys? No. Ah, right. So their their tank is too small. Power pump, please now, right now. I need it. I need it so bad. Once the power pump is done, I can do a few things. And I'm going to split these guys up across two tanks. I'm going to put a tank like this over the other side here. Move this pump section back into here. I'm going to see how big our heat... We've got big heaters now. And we've got... We don't have the big filters. Oh, we do. We have the big filters. Hmm. Good. Interesting. So that panther grouper at the moment is is restricted by the uh, the size of the, the size of the tank it's in. Unfortunately, can't grow any bigger. Lionfish doesn't want to be with anything else, so that's a I can't do anything about that really. But I could definitely get some things in with these uh, dotty backs. But I certainly certainly uh, don't want to put dotty backs in with each other. Not with other kinds of dotty bats, anyway. Oh, actually, no, these guys are quite happy to be in with themselves. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Some of these big fish, though, might eat them. Let's see. Do you eat fish? Yes. With size three or less. What about you? Yeah, you'll eat them. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Have to think about that. Because they're definitely they're too big for their boots in there at the moment. Too big for their boots. And we have other nice big fish that we can put elsewhere. And that would be really good for our prestige level. But I definitely need the power pump so I can start getting things properly sorted out. Okay, Rass is done. Nice. Let's get another lionfish that can go with our lionfish. You go in. You can, you can go in with our lionfish over there. So you've already basically got a tank once I once I research you, which is amazing. Oh, we've nearly got the power pump. That's it's revolutionising the way my aquarium works. Okay, so I wanted to do some bits and bobs over here, didn't I? So I wanted to move this, for example, move that bench somewhere else. I wanted to move this over here. Probably about there would be right, I would say. Power pumps! Yay! Large protein skimmers. And after I've done large protein skimmers, we're going to do a uh, Belfast tank. Yeah, that should get people in from both sides. 
So I want one exactly like this on the other side. In fact, if I just remove the parts of the wall I need first. Put in another deep observer tank on that side. And that should definitely bring people in from both sides of the both sides of the aquarium, all the way over there, and that'll be great. Cool. We could have seating areas in there, we can have all sorts of cool stuff there. What do the guests think right now? They don't seem too happy actually. So is there something causing them issues? <laughs> No, everyone likes everything. Cool. They're just maybe getting a little bit bored. I think sometimes when you start setting up tanks and don't put anything in them, it does like make your prestige go down a teensy bit. I'm not sure really. Claire has leveled up. Be better at feeding, Claire. Oh, they probably don't like that they can't get to the drink machine as well. also that I haven't actually properly decorated everything. Let's let's do that. Let's get the shipwreck paint all over here. Oh, fuzzy dwarf flying fish. Yay. Um, let's have some schooling banner fish maybe. They're active swimmers. Just researching, researching, researching at the moment. I'm just going to pause it for a sec. I'm going to put in my fuzzy lionfish. Just check that they're okay. Apparently they're about to die right now. Stress from being housed with species outside its genus. What? That's a, that's a lionfish. And that's a lionfish. Oh! It doesn't want to be with the disco mushrooms. Well, that sucks. Okay, new tank for you guys. And then I'm going to need something to put in with the disco mushrooms. Something that doesn't eat corals. Maybe the fox-faced rabbit fish might be good for that. They don't eat corals. Their tank's a bit too big right now. There we are. And they're not worried too much by bullies, I don't think. So as long as these guys over here, these uh, oblique dotty back dudes, don't eat green pellets, which they do not. And they can go over here as well. What do you mean the tank is full? Can they go in there? They seem to be able to, actually. Yes. Uh, will they get eaten over there is the next question. Fish with size 2 or less? Fish with size 5 or less? Okay. Fish with size 3 or less? How big are they? They're four, aren't they? Yeah, they're four and they're bullies. Right, okay. So what I think I need to do then... Fish and crustaceans. They eat fish and crustaceans. Oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I need to do. guys eat corals do you? Just likes being housed with another coral group. What? Ah. Cannot be housed with coral group. Fine, I'll stick you over there then. <laughs> Gee! Well, on the plus side, everyone seems happy with that arrangement. And that'll allow that one to grow, which is nice. Cool. The lionfish are in their own little place over there. Being very happy. 
But they need a little bit of sorting out. So we need to give them maybe a driftwood log or something in there. And uh, some filters and stuff like that. Oh, we need four. Mm. Why are you so unhappy? Oh yeah, probably because everything is wrong in their entire in their entire cage. I always call it a cage, but it's a tank. It's not a cage. It's a tank. It's because I have ferrets and they live in a cage, so I keep calling things a cage when they're not. Okay, so now we have power pumps. We should be able to um, be a little bit more clever with the whole the whole system, really. And I want to do that if I can. So what I want in this particular aquarium is I want enough space for there to be whatever um, platforms are needed along there and for a row of food. And then I want all of the pumps and things to be shoved towards the back behind a wall I actually want a wall there and I want a staff door there because the reason I want that I know it's another staff door for them to go through I just want everything to be separated out a bit more and look a bit nicer and that's one thing that I can do to make that happen so that's just me So I've got a wall for all of these to go against and then I have um, back here I've got an actual proper pump room. I'm going to actually make it one bigger than that. And that's what I've wanted for the other side for a while as well. And you know the pumps go through walls so why not? Why not do that? You just need to come back here to fix them. I may put the fixing things back in with the pumps as well. So you've just got food and feeding behind the tanks and then the pump room is right the way at the back. <sighs> it's going to be so much better. So at the moment it doesn't need to be massive because it's not in a huge area so it can go there you see. And they've got some good reach on them. That can go there and can also tank, tally up to that one. See how nice that is? And then what I'm going to do is move these around which will give them so much more space around the back there. Okay, I'm going to move these uh, protein skimmers as well. I need to get the larger protein skimmers in, really. So all of the pumping that's happening around here is going to be happening via these pumps, right? Okay. There is a pump there that's got, that I've just taken the protein skimmer away from. Okay, so what I'm going to do with that one, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to put in a power pump instead. So everything is daisy chained. Ah. Daisy chains into there. And it goes into there. So that's that's all looking good. It's all daisy chained, it's all nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna move this pump system back. And I'm gonna I'm gonna change it over to a power pump. And again I'm gonna put a wall in. So I'm gonna put it about there. And another, um, and that's gonna be going into that one. And then another one. ways across from it so one two three in between there's two away from the wall and then one two three in between so about there we'll also go into that one but then it will also go into that one if it reaches which is great yes it does and i'm gonna put a wall by here and move everything forward with a staff door where's the staff door and that one it's a couple of yeah i've got two there and then Rest of the wall there. Staff door. How much neater is this gonna look? How much easier is it gonna be to just sort everything out in general? So yeah, I'm gonna put the sponge sink in behind the toilet because that would be a good place for it to go. Broom closet next to it. 
tool cases. Well, there's no reason. Pumps don't break. It's only the filters that break. Just in case you didn't know that. So there's no reason to have toolkits anywhere except for in the pump rooms. Which leaves all these this wall space just for feeding. Just for food. Which is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way. I know there is a more efficient way to do that as well. So we've already got a really nice pump system going from the get-go here. I wonder. Actually, there's enough pumping going on over here to to manage that one. That's fine. Fantastic. Let's close all these windows down. I know these are a bit scruffy and could do with like sorting out properly once we get some bigger pumps and stuff. Do something else with it. Um, in the meantime, I do want to expand that room out a little bit more. Just all the way behind here. But carry on with this wall. So the only reason they should have to go in here is to, to fix things, you know? Um, so I can just chuck in a couple more of those. In fact, these stations need to be moved back. five deep and that one is actually six deep and I actually think having it six deep is more useful as well so yeah so rather than just having the front and the back of the aquarium you've got basically feeding and back of the tanks and then pump room behind and then you've got the main visitor area in the middle there so I like that kind of that way of doing things Pump room can then expand backwards more as well. And everything is in its place. A place for everything and everything in its place. Yes. Okay, so now I think we could uh, possibly get a pump in for the lionfish there. And we can move their food as well. So food always goes against the back wall. Give them a slightly better uh, way up there. Like we'll get the yeah, that's better platform wise. That one doesn't need a platform, but I will be probably replacing that later on with a bigger tank. At the moment, it's cool. All right, I want another pump in here. to be kind of in line with this one into that one and also into that one I'm going to need a nice big heater for it maybe two and then we're going to need some nice big filters a protein skimmer as well it's not quite there at the moment with that so I'm just gonna see if I can fit a protein skimmer anywhere else in the in the setup or another large filter mm, not quite there so I'm gonna cheat stick that in there quickly. I, I know I said I don't want any pumps in there, but it's so close that there's no point. One well, it can just be tucked out of the way. The odd one is fine. Just trying to keep things as neat as possible. Uh, okay, overhang. Yeah, there we go. There's some happy lionfish. Some happy, happy lionfish. Everything is sectioned off, and I'm really super happy with it, because I hate having the pumps, like, they're trying to walk around to feed the fish 
and they're having to go around all the pumps all the time and that's a pain in the behind so what I want is them to always be able to walk along here and uh, fix any pumps that need fixing I would like a staff door along here I could just leave gaps but I like there being doors I like it being really separate and I can have all my feeding things for each tank behind the tank and the pump is well out of the way and as I say, sometimes I might need a pump right at the front there just for any lagoon tanks that are in the centre. But that will be all I'll need. Uh, I've got some moving to do over here as well. Uh, that one, and that one, and that one. i just make sure that the moving around hasn't caused any issues. I don't think it has. That's good. And I would like to have a, a copy of this tank across here. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. I've got more tanks than I've got fish at the moment, which is a bit of a pain. In fact, I could put the lionfish in there. And then I wouldn't actually need to open the next section of the aquarium up. We'll see. I've got a few things that I haven't actually put in yet. And I know, I'm spending ages on paws. We've got you, got you, got you, you, you. I don't have any oblique lined dotty backs right now. But I can't find a place for them to go because they're bullies. And they're bullies that won't go in with other dotty backs, grammars, or Anthias, which is an absolute pain. I've got Arabian lined, uh, blue lined dotty backs, and I managed to get them in with some other fish that don't eat them. I think. I need to check that again. Because I've messed around with that setup way too much. Let's just double check that they're not um, under any threat. So, fox face rabbit fish do not eat other fish. Coral grouper will only eat, and it won't grow, but it'll only eat once with three or less. And these guys are four. So that's fine. They're happy in there. They're good in there. The lionfish won't take any others with them. Um, these guys are going to eat large fish. So let's see how big these oblique lion dotty bats are. They're still three, and they are bullies. So, they're going to be a pain to put anywhere, really, basically. So, I might just wait until a bit later to put them in. I don't have to put everything in. These guys don't eat... Oh, actually, yeah, I could have some dotty back cowfish combinations. That would work. Hmm. Okay, so I want to get rid of this, because it's rubbish. Bye-bye. Yes, so... And uh, then I want to get rid of that wall, that wall, and that wall. And make a nice big wall tank there. Okay, just keeping it all nice and symmetrical. It's a deep wall tank we want. About that size. Fantastic. So we'll just see how many cowfish and dotty backs we can get in there. So... I don't think they can be housed with themselves. I think I have to put it in on its own. And then I just pick, stick a load of longhorn cowfish in with it. I've taken 19 out of the 60 spaces in this cave, in this uh, particular one. Water temperature too low, that's fine. So any other big fish that don't eat a smaller fish and aren't aren't too bullied by them, then they're fine to go in that particular tank eventually. And I should be able to put corals in there, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that would work. The tubular corals. I don't think that these guys eat corals. No, they eat starfish. And you don't you you don't eat anything, do you? You're just a bully. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we could do that corals in with them. So let's get a, a nice light on it then. Uh, where's the lights? Where's the lights gone? Where's the lights? I know they're here somewhere. Under pump, uh, under all the pumps and stuff here. Power light. Pop that in there. I need to get the pump system hooked up to the tank as well. Mm. 
Oh no, hang on, that one is just for that one. And that one needs to be connected up to this one as well. There we are. Okay, so we need orange pellets and cockles. them well, that's fine we just need a platform then and again i like my platforms with the stairs that go to either side it allows them to just pick up something and go straight up the stairs they can go whoosh, whoosh, straight up the stairs do i just need one rock one small rock I would like to put more than that in there, but that's the the minimum for them. And they seem quite happy there. So let's just play it on normal. Make sure they're happy. They're not. Why are you a wimp? Of course you're a wimp. Of course you're a wimp. Okay. Porcupine puffers. Are you wimps? Yes. Wow. Well, that's impressive. Panther groupers? Are you wimps? Oh, yeah, you'll you'll eat. You'll eat fish. All right, okay. Uh... So they're going to be unhappy for a while. The lionfish are not going to be happy. Okay, then, dude. You get to go in this tank. <laughs> On your own. I'll find you a friend eventually, but you you just tear it. You're too small for such a big bully, uh, basically. That's what it is. You're too small to be such a big bully. I can make something else of this tank, right? Definitely. Reef squirrel fish, maybe. They're not wimps. Yeah, I think we just need to make the, the tank around the fish. Put a yellow tang in there, maybe. It doesn't. Oh, the fox face rabbit fish is not. Put one of those in. There's loads of ones that could go in with it. Fox face rabbit fish seem to be the best for going in with um, with these horrible little bully fish. Red tailed butterfly fish could go in there as well. Quite a lot of things can go in there actually. Oh, I don't have a hermit crab anymore. Did that get eaten? Did my hermit crab get eaten? Oh, I know what probably happened. I probably sold it. Selling it isn't bad, though. Selling it is fine. It's better than it dying. It dying is bad. That means I haven't cared for it. But yeah, these guys are still fine to have corals in with them, though. So I'm going to look for that coral. That's tubular sponge for sale. I'm going to grab those and we're going to pop them in with the longhorn cowfish. They've got a really pretty tank now. Maybe a couple of plants or something in there too. Maybe some feather calupra in the middle there. A couple of decorations. What have we got? Maybe a barrel at the back or something. Yeah, that's quite a nice tank. Um, I do need to put the theming on it as well. Shipwreck theme. Ah, lovely. So I just need to work out what to do with this guy's little cage over here. A little... Right, let's just open this out a bit. Put the wall back in. Another staff door around about there. Okay. Trying to keep them in line, you know, You're trying to make everything nice, right? I would like to get this section open before the end of the episode. I, I'm not going to be particularly aiming for rank six by the end of the episode or anything like that. This is 
this is one, this is the end, it's the end level and I want to take my time and have fun with it. So that is something that's going to be happening. It's going to be nice looking. I'm going to take lots of time with it. I'm going to make sure it looks good and... that I'm enjoying myself playing as well. No rushing. And if that means I have to be paused for half of it, it means I have to be paused for half of it. You know what? Why don't we have a section in the middle there that's kind of a bit of a different theme? Some different tiles or something like that. So we could have harbour side in there, or we could have tropical beach. Let's have some harbour side tiles in there, maybe. I don't like that. That looks awful. It's not. There's not enough of a, a difference between it. I'll have a patch of sand instead. Which honestly doesn't look much better, but oh well. Okay, let's get the pump sorted over here, shall we? I'm probably going to need a pump everywhere eventually, but at the moment we don't need too many. So you go there and you also connect up to that one. Oh, and actually that's fine. I don't even need to put any extra filters or anything like that on. Uh, it's got no way to do feeding, so let's just stick a platform in. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking nice. I like that. That'll do. And that's a nice place for a seating area as well, so that's cool. So let's just take away the dividing wall and people can go and have a look. Like, seriously, that guy looks like he's in the naughty corner. You are in the naughty corner for being such a bully fish. People are going to say, that tag looks a little bare. And I'll be like, no, bears don't live in cages, they live in tanks. No. They don't live in tanks, they live in cages. Oh, I'm getting so confused. You know what the joke is. New skimmers are unlocked. Yes. Padded benches or Belfast and Belfast tanks. Come on, we need a Belfast tank. Here and here. This will be a nice area for some chocolate machines and things like that. In fact, we have chocolate machines and we haven't put them in yet, I think. I think we could do with a chocolate machine. We'll put a chocolate machine in here, next to this bench. And I'm going to do similar kind of up here. I'm going to, maybe in the middle of the sandy patch, I'll put like a chocolate machine and a fizzy drink machine and all the other machines later on that we might want. And put another bench in and a bin and stuff in there as well. The benches for them to sit on. If they've got toilets where they need the toilets. See if there's anything that they dislike at the moment. A couple of things are getting bored of, but that's fine. It's all just neutral. So overall, they're enjoying the experience. What are we getting at the moment? Shoaling banner fish things. They could go in with my dotty back, actually. I think we should fast forward so more things can get researched quicker. Right, so let me just check. Oh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a pump thing needed here. Okay, right. Large protein skimmer. These are always going to be a problem, like where they're put. So. And the bigger this gets, the more I might need to take an extra um, strip down the back there. Like, these pumps are huge, eventually. And that's why I like to keep them separate from the tanks and the uh, walkways and the food and stuff. Because they can just go through, feed, and then if they need to fix something, they'll go all the way back to fix it. And it'll just be completely separate. I do think that's a good plan. Okay, so... Oh, 
come this one has a toilet on this side and doesn't have a toilet on that side? That's a bit strange. Well, I don't think I need one, but I kind of like the symmetry, don't I? Symmetry is a thing here. Oh, this has been a really long episode as well. But I think it's important that things are symmetrical. Because otherwise I get annoyed. There we are. So I think uh, with the with this aquarium at this point, I am going to leave you there. We're going to spend some of next episode uh, continuing to research the fish and the tech that we need to get up to level 6. We're not too far away at the moment. We haven't made a ton of progress uh, points wise, but I feel like we've done a ton of progress um, in getting the pump room sorted out and that means that we're going to be able to do a load more stuff more easily as we expand the aquarium everything's out of the way the staff can get on with what they need to get on with we can put every food pellet dispenser known to man behind each tank um, and then fixing will just happen in a, in a different time and place you know it's all completely separated out and this I just feel is so much nicer anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe, and I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves, and keep being awesome.